Detroit, and in addition to the companies that we have, we have something that's called a confidence clinic because you can have the resume all set, you you have you just want that little extra edge, and so that's what this confidence provides, and just a little sprucing up here and there. And here, Mary Alice Stevenson is a style expert. She's from Detroit. Well, actually, she's based in New York. She's from Detroit. We're on the flight together. You're so excited about seeing your mom. Hi, mom. Seeing my mom. Hi, mom. And exactly. Here we are. And, and it's a little things, isn't it? It isn't really it is Alice? a little things. Right now, a lot of us can't spend the money on a new no. suit. So go into your closet, shop your closet, find your favorite dress or that interview suit you already have, and update it with simple, simple things like a scarf for costume jewelry. We're going to talk about that later. First and foremost, I want to say that if you cannot afford to get a, a suit for the interview, there's places like Dress for Success or Men's Warehouse that can help you, that are there for you to support you when you re-enter into the work world. Mm -hmm. So log on to abcnews.com to find out more about that. I'll give you that information. Now, if you've got, now this is Bernice. And Bernice has had this suit for five years. Looks she loves good. this suit. But what we did, Robin, is we added a pop of color here. Color is a quick and easy way to like bring attention to the face, to also kind of update your wardrobe for spring. So mm -hmm. we put a little um, hot pink blouse from Dress for Success on in there. And then pearls. The right. statement jewelry, always fine and easy. How do you feel, Bernice? Feel because you already had a yes. phenomenal suit. That is a great suit. Great starting point. And so right. we just played with jewelry. Right. And, and Catherine here, this is also her favorite suit. Mm -hmm. What I wanted to show you is scarves. Now these accessories are from Talbot's, which is a great place to find inexpensive, modern, and fashion-forward accessories. Scarves, really simple, fast way, right around the neck. Um, do this here. Mm -hmm. Catherine had this suit for a while. She came here today wearing this. She's got fabulous earrings. We love that. But right now we're going to update with some color around the neck. And then also we added a belt. Just, just, you know, show mm -hmm. off her waist. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel, Catherine? Great. Great. Again, it's Good. just those, those little things. Little That's touches. Little things that makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. It makes a big difference. And now, you can't forget about Paul. Finn. Paul came. He didn't have a suit on. And he had this fabulous tie. And I think a lot of people think that they have to kind of um, neutralize for a job interview and dress down. But really, you want to be remembered. So you want to have your most flamboyant, fun pieces and dress around those pieces. He loves this tie. So let's take a look at this tie. Um, and instead of changing, and he asked me, should I change the tie? No. I said, no, the tie is great. So we actually got this in a suit from Men's Warehouse, and we, we, worked, we would pick the suit around the tie. Mm -hmm. A lot of men also think they have to wear pinstripes or gray or black to the office. They don't. They can have fun with khaki, with browns, and, and play with the colors of their suits. That's a great tie. That was yeah. what you came in wearing. Yes. So, again, you just kind of spruced up here and there, but everyone who comes in here, they're looking their best, yes. and it's just those little bitty things. And, yes. and grooming is what we have, Gillette over there? Give we me got those. Gillette, and Gillette has got some great products for men's grooming needs. All Right here today, all under $12. Mm -hmm. Men that look sloppy are perceived to work sloppy. So it's really important to look your best, to be clean-shaven and well-groomed. Um, Gillette's done a survey. 75% of men that, that clean up before interviews get those jobs. Also, teeth whitening. Now, many men are scared to put the whitening strips on. They do not want to whiten their teeth. No. Women kind of are more comfortable with that. Rembrandt has a great two-hour kit. So you find out you have a job interview, in two hours your teeth are going to look whiter and brighter. And also Listerine is fun because it always, you know, it's a quick and easy way to kind of update that white on your teeth. So I love how we had mints as people came in. We had little uh, little uh, peppermints for, for people when they were come walking in here at the expo. I got little things that you don't really think so about. So skin. I want to talk about Michelle Obama. Take take a, a cue from her. She bears her arm. She has V-necks. It's okay to show skin. Just don't show the bra straps. Don't have the V too low. Mm -hmm. And um, keep it elegant. Right, so you're feeling a little more confident now because this is our confidence clinic. So you feel... Definitely. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, you came in walk looking so good, and we just wanted to try and give you a little little suggestions and people at home suggestions as well. Mary Alice, That's thank great. you. Thank My you pleasure. Very, very, very much. And you can go for more of these tips, go to our website at abcnews.com. We'll be back in a moment.